name is Jeff Martins and I'm the founder and uh, CEO of CP Usage. And what we do is we harness the unused processing power of idle computers and then resell that processing power in companies with high computing needs. Well, one of the big hurdles that I've had to deal with is finding a, a team, a, a co-founder and other folks to really help me you know, make this business what I want to make of it. Uh, I realized early on that I had an idea, but I didn't have the ability myself to execute on the idea properly. So one of the first things I did is I went out and said, okay, I need to find capable people, uh, smart people, people smarter than me to get out there and, uh, and help me you know, make this product and make this company. Uh, so that was one of my largest hurdles. I was lucky to find somebody at Startup Weekend that was a perfect fit for me. Uh, he's become one of my great friends now. We work wonderfully together as founders, and we've really taken the company to the next level. So I'm excited about that, but that was a big hurdle uh, early on. Another hurdle that we've been dealing with is uh, developing our product without funding. So uh, I know it's something that all entrepreneurs have to do in the beginning, but we've really struggled to develop the software product that we want to put out into the marketplace. And, and building that just in our nights and weekends without any additional uh, software development help or the ability to go out there and license other technologies or hire developers to help us build the product. So that's been a, a big hurdle for us, but one that we don't mind uh, taking on and one that we feel we're doing a really good job of, uh, of jumping over. thing that's tripped us up so far is finding a pilot customer to work with us and test our technology. And it's a really uh, delicate balance because on one hand we need somebody to work with us and let us prove that what we are doing um, is possible, we can do it better than the alternatives, and we can do it cheaper than the alternatives. So we need somebody to work with us to test it out, but because we're so young, it's hard for somebody to say, sure, you can have 20 hours of our time and a bunch of our data and go play around with it. So we face a lot of people that say, gosh, this is a really interesting idea, but I'm just not sure that I'm comfortable spending my time working with a startup uh, that hasn't proven themselves yet. So it, it, it's sort of a chicken and egg thing. We need to prove ourselves, but we also need to convince somebody that we're worth spending the time with so that we can prove ourselves. The resources that have been most useful for us are mentors. Uh, one of the first things we did is we built a board of advisors that had very uh, specific technical abilities that matched up well with what we were doing. People that had names in the industry, it could really give us the advice that is specific to our business. Um, in addition to those mentors or, or advisors, we also have mentors that we look to personally and as a company, somebody, pe excuse me, people that I can call up and say, hey, Michael, you know, this is what we're working on. What do you think? Because I've never done this before, and, you know, maybe you have a perspective I don't have. Uh, so that's been the greatest resource, and I know it's not just one. It, it, it's a bunch of people. It's five, six, seven, eight people that between my co-founder and I, we can go to and seek out the advice um, of experts that have been there and done it uh, before we have. So right now we are about, at the time that we're filming this, we're about two weeks away from getting our technology ready to where we feel comfortable going back to these potential customers we've already spoken with and saying, okay, we're ready to start doing work for you. We're not going to screw it up. It's going to be safe. And we're actually going to help your business uh, by working together with CP usage. So, we're, we're in a critical time right now where uh, once we get that technology ready, I need to go back and make these phone calls and, and walk into meetings with people. And I guess it's a, it's a do or die, a yes or no. It, you know, are they going to follow through with the verbal commitments they've made all along? 
or are they going to say, you know, I'm just still not comfortable and I'm going to have to start over again? And uh, frankly, if, if they all say, you know, no, we're not ready, I, it's going to be like starting over on the customer development side. Um, I'll do it, and that's fine, but I sure hope that I get one of these customers to say, yes, we're going to give you a shot right now. I'm most inspired to keep going, uh, it, it, as simple as it may sound, by the fact that I don't want to go back to work for anybody else. I've been doing this for about uh, 14 months now, uh, since I left my last employer. I haven't had a paycheck in 14 months, but I absolutely love every day that I work on my company, and I do it seven days a week. I absolutely love it, even though I'm not being paid a dime. I can't imagine going back to a job working for somebody else, even with that paycheck that I had before, but not being able to work on something that I'm passionate about, something that I've dreamt up, and something that I want to make happen. So I keep going simply for the fear of not wanting to go back to work for anybody else. I'm most inspired by the people that have been there before me and done what I'm trying to do. So specifically here in Portland, I'm inspired by a gentleman named Ken Weston of Active Track. Uh, he's a few years ahead of me in this startup game, and uh, he said he told me once that he had a lot of help for people that said, you know, yeah. you know, let me give you a hand. But he also said there's not enough people like that in Portland, and so he was very intentional to give back to startups. And he told me, he said, look, you know, I'm here for you. I want to help you out. I want to give back. You know, let me know how. Let me know how I can help you. So he's been wonderful, and he's on our board of advisors at CP Usage. And I also have <laughs> begun to look at him as a personal mentor. Uh, in addition to Ken, there's somebody that I've known for a number of years now. Uh, we actually went to the same high school, went to the same college, the University of Oregon. Uh, he was named the Entrepreneur of the Year when he graduated for the business school there, as was I. Uh, the difference is he's gone on now to found a number of companies, and I believe he's on his fourth successful exit. So I'm inspired by him because I want to I want to have four successful exits just like him, or maybe more. Um, you know, I, sometimes I worry that I haven't lived up to my uh, award of Entrepreneur of the Year. Uh, as sad as it sounds, it actually does keep me up at night. I want to prove to the university that I really was worth that, uh, just as was Mike, the gentleman I'm speaking of. Uh, so I aspire to, to be like him. And you know, in addition to wanting to walk in his footsteps, he is also a personal mentor of mine and an advisor of CP usage. So I have him uh, to advise me and, and help me along the way and help me to get to where he's been.